Hey everybody, normally I will post a YouTube tutorial about ClickUp and I'll be using a test account. Today I'm actually taking you into my own account to talk about how I divide, I keep you know the separation of church and state between my ideas and the stuff I'm actually working on. Um, I'm gonna be using the example of YouTube production. Yeah, very meta. Um, but this works for any type of process in your business where there's a filtering, which, you know, person to person here, there should be filtering in probably just about anything you're doing in your business. Every idea is not a good one. So when you need to have that separation, when the shiny objects or the half finished projects are mocking you, um, I'd highly recommend you consider adopting this workflow. So what is it? What I have set up is simply a separation of statuses. So I'm here in my YouTube splicing list. And when I jump in here, you'll see that I have a bunch of statuses. I'm gonna turn them all on for now. Let's just leave them all on. Idea, planned, drafting, refined and spliced to schedule, published and closed. That's the way I have this organized right now. Not saying it's perfect, it's just what I've been doing. But normally what I have available in my creation view, which I have pinned to the front, is just the everything but the first status. The first status is idea and just a side note here, if you don't know what your first status should be in ClickUp, I suggest you go with the word idea. It's very short, it's to the point, and it perfectly conveys what all those things are. To do, I think, is a little bit too um, elevated for that first status. So idea is what I use and I highly recommend it. So here I am and I've got everything except for that idea status showed. I've shown. I've removed it by using a filter based on status, selecting all, then just deselecting my idea one. Now it shows me all of the tasks, in my case, all of the YouTube videos that are beyond the idea stage. And I can walk them through, drag them through each step of the process. In another view, in a separate view, I have a filtered area only showing the idea status. And I could get a lot fancier here. I could have them grouped by themes or other things if I wanted to, but literally all I do here is when I have an idea, like this is an idea, I just jot it down, just a task title, nothing at all, unless I feel like I need to maybe expand on it in a description. I just create tasks. I could maybe, uh, really, this is a good one. Jot my ideas in there, get them out of my head and dump them into the ideas area. I have them filtered so they disappear right now, but nonetheless, um, this page is dedicated to idea. So when I am in brainstorming mode, when it's late at night, I'm watching Great British Bake Off, just trying to get some things out of my head. Um, and I want to start ideating about what I could put on YouTube. I will just go in here. I will just type task and task and task and task and task, getting them out of my head. But when I'm in production mode, when I'm sitting down like today and I'm like, all right, need to get those videos out. I'm going to go over here in creation mode and not get distracted by all of the ideas. When an idea is ready to be promoted to production, I'll change it and change the status to planned and it'll show up in creation. But otherwise, it's living on ideas land. It's not distracting me. It's not crowding my pipeline or confusing my VA, I hope, <laughs> because it is separate. Again, this is one series of statuses. I just have them filtered. If you are someone who is overwhelmed by the idea of filtering your list, um, if the, any word that sounds like Excel just scares you, this is a very, very I mean, I want to share it because it's just so simple, but it's so effective. It's a very simple way to go about um, organizing this information just by filtering by status. Nothing fancy at all here. It's overwhelmingly not fancy. Um, the one other thing I want to show you, oh, and actually isn't going to let me do it this time, um, is that you can set automations up in this. And I'm not going to show you this because I have all my, uh, all my pieces in here, so I ain't going to do that. But um, when you start using automations in ClickUp, you can actually have automations trigger at different moments in time. And what I have set up, which I want to show you. All right, we're going to hold on one second. All right, excuse the delay there. Here is, and we're just going fully behind the scenes here. Um, my separation of church and state of ideas and creation extends to how I have automation set up. So when I jot an idea, into my ClickUp space. It's really rough, as you saw there. Um, and as I start distilling what I want that video to be about, the title is going to change to be whatever that YouTube video title is going to be. The description is going to become our YouTube description, you know, hopefully. And um, then I'm finally going to be ready to take it over into that planned status, which for me is the second status. Um, so when it does that, 
I actually want to make sure that my YouTube video production checklist, my SOP, my standard procedure, which again, if you want to see what that is, leave me a comment. You know, I'm not, I'm not a YouTube rock star here, but I do have a process for it, which I would be happy to share. So leave a comment if you'd like to see that, but otherwise let's just focus on today. Um, so I have an automation set up that when a status changes from idea to planned or drafting, then I want the YouTube video production checklist, my template to be loaded on that task. Um, I, the reason I have it as only those two is for me, if I skip more than two statuses, I'm probably doing something weird and I wanna do that manually and check in on it. But I have this automation. So when my idea goes to the next stage, if it's following the normal progression, then I wanna make sure my normal template, my normal instructions are attached to that task. So there we go. So I have that set up. I also, since you've, I've made it clear by now, I make rules and then I often break them. I also have this rule set up that says when a task is created and the status is anything beyond idea, then I make sure that the status is applied. And actually, I don't need that custom month. Eh, we'll keep the month on there um, and keep my month custom field to be not scheduled. So again, no matter what I, how, how it gets there, if something gets into production, I want to make sure it has my full SOP, my full instructions manual on how to do that task. So. To do that, I am using two views, super basic, nothing fancy except having a status that is filtered. And I'm pairing that up with a simple automation, like super simple here. And you don't even need this step. Just get rid of it. Now it's a, you know, you need, um, I think you need the business plan or the unlimited plan to be able to add those variations. But if you're on the free plan, you're you can do this. Granted, you can only do it 10 times a month, but still um, you can have that in here and it's super helpful. So let's jump back. So back in here, I will also add that even if you don't have the free plan, or even if you only have the free plan, you can also add templates um, to your own tasks manually by not using the automation. So if you saw the automation stuff, you looked in your own account and you were bummed, either upgrade or just start doing it manually. Either way, um, my lesson I hope is still applicable. Dividing up the status flow into two different views so that way you're able to focus on one side of your brain at a time without being distracted by all the ideas when you're supposed to focus on just finishing the stuff you've already started. When you are looking in creation, you do not want to be distracted by all of these shiny ideas that you'd much rather start than finish that final step of refining, splicing, scheduling, whatever it is you have to do. So that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed this, if you'd like to keep the dialogue going, feel free to leave me a comment or check out the description of this video where I talk about my Facebook group. There's a link in there. It's a free group where we like chit chat about this stuff all day, swap notes, share screenshots, go live, all that cool stuff. So if you want to talk to me about your ClickUp or other tools that you're using to help the workflows, processes, and documentation in your business just be that much smoother, definitely check it out. And while you're down in the description, hit subscribe because it's just the nice thing to do and karma comes around, right? <laughs> so anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great one. Bye.